everybody and welcome back today we have um, an interesting thumbnail that I did for um, the YouTube channel Potato this one is for the video game Born into Fear which is part of uh, the month of October's Spooktober it's going to be a series of spooky video games spooky slash scary um, it was actually um, a really cool game it was a little low on the scare factor, but they did have some pretty good jump scares. So right here, what you're seeing is kind of the cover image of the game itself, except for the actual cover image isn't my Potato character. It is the uh, the character in the um, the video game, which is called a buffer, which is Sally, I believe, or what they call her. I'm not 100%. I can't remember exactly, to be honest with you. But I'm going to just do um, a really simple design. I'm going to draw her, and it's going to be super dark. And then there's going to be this window here letting in a light. Now, the light itself that I'm going to draw is kind of like a green, cool light. But I'm going to actually do a cool collar in the background. But I want her to be a warm collar so she stands out. And you'll see that as we get through here. And what you see me doing now is I'm drawing lines for, like, wood grain because the character is like a wooden mannequin uh, that apparently comes to life and I'm just going in with like a cloud brush and I'm just slowly working in like purples and greens and blues and uh, you'll see me start pushing those here real soon it doesn't take very long this this whole uh, image actually I had my doubts about it but it came together at least for me I really really like the way this one turned out um, it came together Quite well. I'm sitting here testing some brushes, trying to find texture that I actually like and that I want to go with. You know, you probably won't even notice in in the thumbnail itself, but uh, for me personally, I like to find a brush with a with a nice texture to it. And here lately, I've been using these kind of chalk brushes. Here recently, I really like the chalk look. And I've just uh, on a side note, I've always really enjoyed pastels. Uh, but you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm slowly working up the collars and I'm in like the red area right now and you know me I like to keep changing the collars I like a lot of variation so uh, I just I'm gonna keep changing the collar throughout the image you know to add variation and uh, see I go up to yellows here kind of um, what is that an analogous collar scheme I'm not sure I can't remember exactly I even went to college for this stuff. I just don't find it that useful all the time to know the exact terms. Uh, most of the time when I'm drawing, I just kind of go with my gut. And uh, it's based more off of emotion and and feelings, I guess, what I think about the image. It's, it's very subjective instead of objective. But you'll notice I'm putting purples and blues. And uh, actually that blue I put in towards the back of the head there on like the underneath the hair kind of looks a little green but it's actually blue adding some browns because I'm just I'm actually I got the image pulled up uh, while I'm painting the image the actual image for the game itself I got it pulled up it's to the right of my screen here and I'm just kind of looking at that and kind of uh, basing some of my design and color choices off what I'm seeing off of the image but everything I'm doing is within my own color palette I, I I'm really enjoying this image as I'm working on it. I'm actually, uh, while I'm doing this image, I'm having a conversation with my son, and he's asking me, you know, certain questions about why I do certain things. And I was ex actually explaining a lot to him, which he's not really into art, but he was enjoying the conversation and kind of getting to know what I do. And right here, I'm, I'm actually having a bit of a challenge with the eye. I'll, I'll be struggling with it a little bit, because it's kind of a glow like her eye like it's a light within that's kind of coming out and uh, I was having a bit of an issue conveying that in the the painting itself but I eventually I think I figured it out and I kind of got the effect that I wanted to go for like right right about there is when it really starts coming together I, I start I'm like okay that looks about like what she has going on and then I just add a few more details that you kind of see in the, the cover image itself. The, and, and this was totally fun. The game was a bit bizarre and weird. 
and that's fine, you know, especially it's it's October. I enjoy some spooky games and spooky TV and all that kind of stuff. It's just fun. I like to get into it. Within reason, I don't like the gore stuff too much, but you'll see me just going through here and I'm playing with collars cuz she's got kind of like like blush or something on her cheeks, but it kind of looked to me it looked like the shape of a heart, so I kind of went with that. I thought it added like a creepiness factor. The only problem is with the such saturated collars, it bumps down like the saturation, like underneath the lip there. That was kind of more of a, a purplish collar. Now it just looks kind of gray to me after bumping up those those pinks and reds in her face. But, you know, I'm just going through it. And like I said, you just got to slowly work through your image and and get it the way you want it. Don't try to rush to the ending and because that's how you'll you'll mess it up. I made a few more changes there, uh, bringing the shadow a little closer to the face. This part was fun. I really had a lot of fun bringing out like that wood grain kind of look. I don't know why it just uh, it was it was very enjoyable for me. And and right now I'm getting close to finish because that window I'm not really concerned with that at all. You know, it's going to be basic flat collars with a little bit of an effect to it adding a little bit in the background so you can kind of see like her hair back there but I want it to be more implied than actually seen I think I'm kind of dealing with more negative space here in this image with what you can't see than what with what you can and stuff kind of fading into the background that's really fun too playing around with that aspect of of drawing and painting I just decided to block that all in because it's going to be darker on the side not facing uh, facing away from the window itself and you'll see like the the sides opposite of the direction where the light is coming are going to be the darkest so I'm just going to go ahead and fill all that in with flat collars and then I'll come in with like some lighter collars like the lights lighting up the white paint I guess around white paint or plastic you know nowadays most people have like plastic windows and whatnot so I think that's basically what I was going for here kind of that look it, it, it's kind of what was in the image I didn't stick to anything exactly I just kind of liked what what they had going on it was a really neat image in my opinion and you'll see me I'm just going in here kind of adding like a little bit of detail but not much checking my lines squaring things up so it doesn't look too sloppy I mean I don't want it to be perfect by any means I want it to look kind of warbled and and off putting you know because it is like for a scary show or for a scary game there I am adding my effects and I'm gonna go through and clean out what I sprayed over the hard uh, the hard plastic or the window itself kind of adding some highlights because I just want all this to be implied I want it to be a feeling rather than a defined look but I really enjoyed this one I really hope you guys did too. And like I've stated before, if you enjoyed it, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, I'd love it if you guys would like this. And if you enjoy what I'm doing, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out, help get my, my artwork out there so other people can see it. Maybe other people can enjoy it too. Um, at the end of the day, I just want people to have a good time and maybe learn a little something from me. So I hope you guys had a good time. You take care. Bye-bye.